Hey YouTube, going on a four hour journey to go pick up my um, Cymex machine. I'm super, super excited. Can't wait to get that in um, in my cleaning arsenal. It's going to need a little work. It's a little older machine. Going to put it back together and uh, test it out first. And then we're probably going to do a complete and total rebuild on it. Um, super excited to take you on that journey with me. I'll be taking some footage along the way and um, when we get it home I'll show you the results. Hey guys, we just got done picking up the Cymex. I'm taking a little trip from the road, road trip, taking a little break, sorry. I'll show you the machine real quick. This is it right here. Came with all this stuff. Um, this is a kind of a concrete grinding model, a little heavier duty than some of them out there. Um, super impressed. Super excited to get this out and try it out on some floors. You know, these just, just so that you know, these pull off on Cymex machines. So if you ever are dealing with one, you have to pull them off. But transaction went great. Um, good guy to deal with. Easy going. Put that back on in a second. So, anyway, just want to touch base. We're right side out outside of Peoria, so been a wonderful road trip so far, about four hours from my house. So we're gonna keep going and really rock this out and get this machine home tested out. Super excited, I already got to play with some, it works great, but you know, it's a Cymex that can't really break. But alright, see you guys when I get home. I just took the cover off the Cymex machine. It's all in really good shape still. It just is filled with concrete dust and sawdust. We're gonna go ahead and clean that out really thoroughly and put it all back together. So before you guys start sanding with one of these, really think about the consequences of sanding with a Cymex machine. This is all that fine wood dust. Look at all that. I mean, the belt's in great shape. I can tell he just replaced this belt, so I'm not buying the new belt. It's really good shape. So, but it's just filled with sawdust. I mean, why would you do this to such an expensive machine? I don't know. It's made to be run with water. I mean, I know you can sand floors with it, wood floors, but come on. So, alrighty. Second, you take your bicycle grip, loosen the screw, and slide it in place. Next, you position it where it's most comfortable for your hand to be pressing against. Yeah, like that, like that. All right, then all you have to do is tighten the screw. That's it. We've got the CRB all set up, um, ready to pre-scrub the carpet. And we're not really pre-spraying everything, but if we have a bad spot, I'm going to go ahead and pre-treat it with a little bit of um, Incap Basic with some detonator. Concentrate it a little strong in here. Just set that right in that bag so it's ready to go. Kick this back. And we're going to go ahead and start CRB in the entire building, picking up any dirt, debris, that sort of thing. Now we're doing this um, before and after in our encapsulation cycle. So, giving it a super, super thorough go, guys. Super, super thorough. Now we are just hitting traffic areas because that's what they want. 
all about the client's needs, not about ours. Now you may have seen in a previous video us steam cleaning this place and if I can find it, I will put it in the description. If you guys haven't just subscribed yet, what you waiting for? And come on, please do it. Another thing that I would like to ask is that you go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the YouTube rhythm. We're gonna hit that spot. That's a little bit of oily nastiness. We're just gonna hit it and scrub it in. And like magic, it's gone. InCap Basic is a terrific product. Terrific product, very economical. Really blown my mind with how economical it is. And this is just an encapsulation job today. Mostly just hitting the traffic areas, trying to get the dirt out of the carpet so we don't make mud. Keep in mind, in-cap works terrific, but it doesn't work terrific if we're making mud with it. So. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the camera and get to scrubbing because they're gonna start piping music in here again. I wanna mention about the simple caps is that it is neutral pH and it does have a great Sintra scent. I really like it. Really easy to mix out. Um, this building, because it's so lightly soiled, we're gonna do four to six ounces. Um, and it, what we have in our pump up sprayer is eight to 12. Hello guys, we're going to walk through some of the basics on the Symex machine real quick for you. So this switch right here turns on and off the um, brushes and or the pads. Now you can place pads under this machine. All you need is the pads. Now the way the Symex works is these spin in opposite directions as the disc is spinning, giving it extra agitation. You put your solution in here, mix it following the instructions once again. The instructions are as if the word of God. You don't want to ever break instructions on a cleaning product. So once again, this is your power switch. Now on this side is your dispension uh, switch to dispense your cleaning solution. As you pull this, the water will come out through the center section right here on these um, brushes. And it'll make a really nice slurry that will then get into the carpet and fully encapsulate all the soil. Another neat feature of the Symex is the head tilts back. So when you go to use it, you tilt the head forward, you set down the head, you then lower and raise the handle through this lever right here. Now it's really unique, straight up, you get to lift it, and then it locks in place super comfortable. Now on a build series, we're going to be replacing the pistol grips. We're going to show you guys how to do that because these grips on the Slimex, they're kind of rubbish. You just use bicycle grips. So that's some of the basics. They're a really simple machine to operate. I hope that this um, helps somebody out that's looking to buy one. I bought this machine used. It's a heavy duty model. It's actually designed for stone polishing. So, um, but it of course can be used on carpet. So we're going to get to working with it right after we fill it up.
I keep pulsing this handle as I go. You always want to pull back on a section. Once you see a light whitening of the carpet, that's when you know it's up. I do, in the build series, we're gonna be putting on a wheel, larger wheels. The five inch wheels are really tiny. Look at that cleaning action, guys. The carpet is just barely dampened by this process. When done right. Don't have to add more moisture on your return pass unless you see it stop whitening. encapsulation solution is to encapsulate soil. In order to do that, you have to make sure that all the sides of the fibers are hit. In order to hit all the sides of the fiber, you got to make sure that you work the machine back and forth several times. The more time you take with your machine, the better your results will be with the end cap solution. So you want to make sure, once again, that you go back and forth several times, forward stroke, backstroke, and this applies to any machine, whether it be a floor machine, a Cymex machine, or the Mighty Eco, uh, 
the vibe orbiter, it doesn't matter. The Trinity doesn't matter. You got to make sure that you're working all the sides of the fiber in order for it to work properly. Or like even a CRB, all sides of the fiber, super thorough. Okay guys, let's see if this is capable of uh, taking care of this pretty serious pattern in here. I'm going to go do a little close up of it. See that right there? Get the camcorder out and do a close up. Look at that right there. See that? Let's go ahead and do the after. Those of you that... So if you're wondering how effective encapsulation solution is, even the most basic ones, they're pretty ridiculously effective. Um, the reason why is they're polymerizing. And... I mean, just look at that. Uh, that's immediately after just one scrub pass with the machine we're gonna go ahead and move it that's just after one scrub the machine you know just really hitting all the sides of those fibers now all this is is the very most basic encapsulation solution that they have on the NCAP store so I just wanted to share that with you and uh, keep going as we go we'll, you'll see more and more results appear Alrighty guys, just showing you some of the final results. It turned out just spectacular. Right there's the Cymax for getting ready to load it all up. Have a little bit of solution left in the tank. Simply put, it turned out just amazing. Super, super pleased. You know, look at that. It just turned out awesome. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, customer is going to be crazy happy with this one once again. So, you know, you don't need a heavy hitting shotgun on every single job as far as your chemistry goes. We're going to go through and do a final quick little vacuum. Not going to catch that one on camera. And we're just going to give it a final little vacuum before they open up tomorrow and show them what the results are. They're going to be so, your mind's going to be blown. Most people are. So, you know, this is a smaller building for me. Um, smallest one I have that isn't on a um, incredibly regular maintenance program. Still on a regular maintenance program. Every four months, we clean the carpet here, which I know you guys would die for, most of you. But once again, thank you for watching. Grab yourself. Some of the Simple Cap, just an amazing product. Super happy with the results. In Cap store, you know, just awesome. We only mixed it at we only mixed it at four ounces per gallon, and we got all this results. Now we did mix up a stronger sprayer, which I always recommend having a little spot sprayer mixed up, ready to hit those nasty spots that are kind of a little bit more aggressive. You just need a small 32 ounce sprayer. Hit those nasty spots, get them taken care of with a little bit of the simple cap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super appreciate it. Can't wait for the next video. Upcoming soon is some really cool stuff. I'm super excited that you'll get to share it. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Cymex versus a CRB versus a floor machine versus a aggressive orbiter. Can't wait for you to see that one. We're going to test them all out on some carpet, see some wear testing. So if you haven't rated, comment, or subscribe yet, do all three. You know, just do it. Just subscribe, rate, comment. You know, it super helps me out. Super appreciate it. You guys rock. Thank you for watching. Sorry about all the voiceovers because they're piping in music at super loud sound. So talk to you later. Have a great one. Thank you.